Oh my god, wait, hold on. Potential win? Take action. Serum snare. Three mana less. Three mana less. Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today we have a tier three Twitch subscriber deck submission. So, I must say right off the bat that the deck is very fun to play, and it revolved around two super fun cards, one of them being new Storm of Saruman, and the other one is something, something, something Spell Dancer. Mercurio, Mercurio, Mercur, Mercer, 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 Mercurio. Yeah, the spell dancer. We are going to be winning with poison counters. However, we're not using any creatures outside of the spell dancer, so that's why we are using Storm of Saruman and the spell dancer because both of these will end up copying spells, which will proliferate and add poison counters which gives us the win, obviously. So Storm of Sermon is a six mana enchantment with ward three, which also means it's very expensive, but also a little bit more difficult to get rid of. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, you get to copy it. Now, the copy is not legendary if the original one is, meaning you can get two Planeswalkers if you really wanted to. But obviously in our case, we're just trying to get more poison counters. It's usually better to get more poison counters than planeswalkers because you can win with poison and you can't really win directly with planeswalkers unless it's bolus. But whatever, let's not get pedantic about it. I don't want to hear anything in the comment section, okay? But the very first thing that we have to do in the deck is cast Prologue to Phoresis. Now, this is a two mana instant that will give the opponent a poison counter and we get to draw a card. Now, that gets the whole ball rolling because then we have all of our proliferate spells, and then of course we have more prologues to give them more poison counters if we really want to. We also have some graveyard recursion if we need to get some other spells, but again, by that time we'll have a spell dancer or a storm, and we're gonna be able to copy some spells, and we're usually winning at that point in time. So the spell dancer is a two mana two one that can't be blocked, which is very important to note. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you get to put an oil counter on it, which is also very important to note because we're doing a lot of proliferating. So if we cast a spell that does something but also proliferates, we're automatically putting two counters on the spell dancer. And then if we attack with the spell dancer, whenever it deals combat damage to opponent, you get to choose to remove two of those counters. If you do, you get to copy the next spell that you cast that turn. So with a combination of these two cards, we're able to proliferate and add poison counters with zero problems whatsoever. So we can cast a spell to give them a poison counter, and then we can attack with the spell dancer, remove two counters, and then play a card that draws cards, proliferates, but we get to triple cast it because we get the copy from both the spell dancer and the storm as well. So we're gonna add the poison counter and we're gonna proliferate three times in one turn. And we're gonna do that for like four mana. And we're gonna be drawing a bunch of cards at that point in time anyway. We're essentially replenishing our hand at that point. It's all cantrips that we have that do exactly what we need. So it's actually kind of insane what we can actually do. A lot of the wins just kind of come out of nowhere. And that's why the opponents are just completely taken by surprise. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this deck was made by a tier three Twitch subscriber. And if you want to see one of your decks turn into a video where I take the deck, play around with it, make some tweaks and changes and do everything that I can to make it either more fun for me or more entertaining. If you want any of that stuff, then just make sure you hit that join button. You can see all of the benefits that you get as well as getting your name immortalized in all of these videos. Speaking of which, I would love to give some thanks, obviously, to the Twitch subs and YouTube members. There's been a ton of support lately, and I really, really, really do appreciate it. So as I break my microphone and then I need a lot more support, Jesus Christ, I do, I do appreciate it so much. We're not breaking the microphone. It's fine. 
It's an expensive microphone that we're not breaking. Okay, I promise. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you wanted to build the most recent version of this deck, it's only going to cost you a measly 21 rares and 3 mythics. It's actually relatively budget, not going to lie. And the only reason it is that expensive is because I did change some of the lands to make it to where it had more dual lands. So you could actually take this down from 21 rares to probably about 10 or lower just taking out a lot of those dual rare lands that I did add. So it's a very, 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 very cheap, friendly deck that you can make. I would recommend building it, especially if you're a baller on a budget. There are possibly some tweaks that could be made that may fit your play style a little bit more, or you might be able to have more fun with. But if you do end up taking it, if you have like a stroke of genius, they're just watching the games or whatever, please give me the deck list in the comment section below. So if you want to watch me play the viewer decks or brew some of my own decks and help me out even, then make sure to check out my schedule in the description below. I stream five days a week every day except Monday and Wednesday over on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. So you can just check me out here. But if you want the deck list, you can click on that card that pops out at the top right hand corner of this video. It'll send you on over to my Aether Hub page that has all of my updated lists. Or you can just get the text-based version in the description below. But the best thing you can do for the whole channel and for everybody here in Sodium City would be to share the video with someone you think who would like the videos. But again, we always appreciate you if you tap that like button, attack that sub button, stay salty, and enjoy the games. Wait, who's... I miss, I missed that one. Nerdy Kitty, who's passive on what passive? Does that kill us? The Dominus? All right, let's see if it survives. Come on, baby. All right. Remove two oil counters. I need to cast two spells first, though. The actual hardest counter in the game. Wow. 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 <sighs> wow. What's up, Charlie? This is literally. 
literally the worst matchup. Please, Toad, do we have enchantment removal? Please tell me you have enchantment removal. Oh my god. All right, we lost. The hardest counter, the literal hardest counter, no enchantment removal, and we can't do any thing. Cringe, cringe, bro. On a Sunday? Spell dancer, snap keep. You can change it a bit, I don't buy it. I don't even know what I would change, honestly. Scene and scene. Okay, so I want to do this. Take action, and then I want to do this. Put the counter on that. Get a deep pump. God, we need enchantment removal. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Address me as Queen of the Dead, please. Oh, priest. They can have a creature. I don't care. I can't give them mana. We're doing things my way. to find not that we needed to find our ossification we needed our ossification needed our ossification I can't give them that. I have to kill it. Right? No, they're tapped out. Sorry for your loss. They're tapped out.
Oh my god, wait, hold on. Potential win. Take action. Serum snare. Three mana less. Three mana less. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the four mana one. That's the four mana one. That was the four mana one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Who plays the four mana Lily? Who plays this card? That was a win. That was a win. That was a win. I don't care. That was a win. They're going to make me sacrifice that, and then they have it, and then we're going to lose, I think. We definitely won that game. We won this game. We won it, okay? I'm glad I played that. I am glad I played that. You wish you had a fraction oh of my, my power. Oh my gosh. We're doing things my way. Please don't make me sacrifice that. Please don't make me sacrifice. I mean, it's not like it matters, right? If I get any spell, we win. Any proliferate spell. I do like the artwork a lot. Yeah, we won that game. We won that game. We won that game. Finish. Finish ish ish ish. Fine ish ish ish. Fine ish 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 ish. It'll be fine. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Did somebody redeem an oil? Did I miss it? What a park. Yes. I have what what was it? What was it? What's going on, Ark? Things are good. Things are good. Thought Karen. Oh no. Okay. Cheers, you're finally awake. It is. It's tucked away. It's here, it still exists. They know we have a settle the wreckage. We can't debate people if they know we have a settle. I really kind of wanted to land there, but... 
pot Karen again. Dang it. That's the it's one big downside of contingents plan is that it's a sorcery. Um witness the future is looking mighty good here. Uh, okay, so that means they didn't have another one. Um, let's get the ossification. One, two, three, four, five. We can experimental uh, in response. What's up, Magna? How you doing, baby? My image. Witness a moat of my power. Get rid of that. Conceivable. So we can technically serum snare. That's bad. I'm like, we could Serum Snare Ossification and then replay the Ossification just to get the Proliferate. This is not good, this is not good. Mortality suits me well. Let your weak minds crumble. Ouch. At least we got another one. Oh, uh, let's see if we can get a land here. We got a land. Good. Good, 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 good. Didn't want a magic card play either, did you? No, I didn't. I miss the big brain play. How did I miss the big brain play? Um, if I did that, I wouldn't have been able to look at the top three cards and pick a card that I wanted. So I wouldn't have actually gotten anything. I wouldn't have been able to look for something. Just bouncing a card and replaying it doesn't give me any proliferate. That's why I didn't do that before. So right now we just need to proliferate one more time. 
So we have three prologues. Do we even though? Two experimental auguries down. I mean, I feel like we're kind of screwed with this, I always right? Have an answer. Running Karn's Bastion? Uh, no, it's not in the deck. That card is so bad. It's like five mana proliferate. My very, very is rarely endless. is it ever like usable. It's usable in this situation, but it's, it's like how frequently. Right there. It's like they had a lot of graveyard exile, which prevents us from getting stuff back. That's both of our witness to futures. We have no more experimental frenzies. Wasn't even close. It was just a Grixis deck with zero counter spells. That's all. First of all, they were not playing a tier one Grixis deck at all. And second of all, this isn't my deck. <laughs> There were so many incorrect statements in that one sentence. These are bounty decks. Oh, we got to do... Wait, did we choose a scent for the... Did we choose a scent? I still never saw one. Which one was it? It was Conrad that did it? All right. mm, no, they didn't choose anything. I wish I could cast that for free. <laughs> Would be great. Ooh, Dawn of Hope. Nice. All right. I need a board wipe. We only have four in the deck. Easy clap. They have selfless savior, so it doesn't matter. They make the pride made indestructible. And... Met two. We need a bouncy. Okay, bounce, bounce, bounce. We need to get rid of these inoxorable tides. Mm. 
Yeah, it's just... With the amount of other stuff... Like, it would be better to run two more Witness Futures. Like, I, I wouldn't mind putting in two more Witness Futures, to be honest. Witness Future is really good in this deck. In response, okay, we have something. We have something. Crimson Rose, welcome to Sodium City. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. How about Flux Channeler? How about it? What is it? What does it do? What are we taking out for it? Why should we put it in there? Give me some details. What about a mountain? I don't really want them to be able to do anything with that. It generally dies, but if it doesn't, you win. Two blue, proliferate on cast. Same thing as Nox or Tide, but cheaper. Has tendency to die. That needs to die. Immediately. We're a little bit slow right now, but we might be okay. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm slow. I'm the slow one. It is I. The slow one. <laughs> Let's experimental augury. We'll get a land and then we'll wrath, I think. Right? Or do we just go straight up for... I don't know, actually. I should have done it on their turn, their upkeep. But it's whatever. It's fine. We're still taking away one of their turns, technically. All right, cool. We have the Storm of Sir Ramen. It's coming in hot. I hate that card. I hate this card so much. So this is whenever you cast your second spell each turn, 
copy it. So... I'm gonna Wrath, and then I'm gonna Experimental Frenzy. Which is fine. We get them up to eight. Tim to see plan. Good. Good. This should be fine because they're all really cheap. Now, as long as they don't have five damage, we could probably win. Jesus Christ. Sheesh. Sheesh. Then we got... We got Perry's deck, and then that's it. So we'll get some more content with this deck and then we'll do Perry's deck. And then it's just going to be Oh no, the big memu. We got the big memu. Never mind. We got another one. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You black don't hate my hand. Well, they didn't hate my hand. They just hate my creatures. I've seen this deck around a lot lately, actually, in response. No. We just want to submit the stipulations. Exclamation mark bounty. And it's all in the Discord server. It's kind of funny. Rude. I just didn't want them to be able to recast it. Sure. I mean, sure. If I tap out for storm, I lose. So I need to do that. Can I add... No. This 
is not helping our cause. Two, three, four, five, six. And then I need one more land after this. All right. So if I get another land, I can storm and then keep up Serum Snare. The only reason we're doing that is because we have to make sure that we don't get <laughs> by Under Realm. Underworld Dreams. Okay, starting to hurt, but White Sun's Twilight coming to the rescue. I can't double cast this, but one, two, three, four. I can five. Let's just gain five life. <laughs> That's fine. We still gain five. We lose five. I forgot. I forgot. Doesn't matter. It's still a monster. Still a monster. <laughs> still, still a monster. We are still a monster. <coughs> testing, testing. Oop. Oop. Today we have a tier three. 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 Now the copy is not legendary if the first the first we're essentially we're and i don't even know if i finished saying it before i broke my microphone before i didn't break my microphone but there may be some tweaks that you could make to make it a little bit fit your thank you all so much for watching if you made it to this point it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and i'm waking you up now <laughs> either way thank you for all the support i really do appreciate it if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification come out with videos seven days a week